This is Phil. It's a three-player fixed game with fog and blizzards. I'm playing on the classic map. I'm playing with public randoms, and I have been experimenting with three-player fixed games because um, I think that it shortens the game. It makes it so that this beginning part of the game where there's um, huh, where there's a lot of like positioning and and turtling until you get down to three players it really takes that away so um, I think I have a lot to learn from this and we'll we'll kind of see how it goes I'm gonna make multiple attacks my first turn which I don't normally do Let's make an alliance with green. Okay, let's check out my opponents. General the Brave. Come on. General the Brave. 235 hours, 240 and 450. So this is a good person, especially if they're playing multiplayer. Um, and then Marcos Muko. Green. They're fighting for Australia right now. That's not going to show me Marcos, uh, which they're going to lose because Red's got going to get five turns, troops a turn. So I've played about six three-player fixed games now, and um, I have a, a very good win rate on on like four and six players. It's like seventy percent, but when I'm playing three player fixed games it seems to be about 50 percent so there's and then i've gotten maybe like one third in a couple of seconds hey what's up pete how are you doing i'm playing three player fixed non-ranked on my my main account red went first and got lucky i think i'm gonna have to break their south america at some point but i might wait for cards i want them to go to war with with green over here on the east. But yeah, so three square fix is a lot more attacks. It's a lot it's a very sped up game. And um it's a lot of it is about balance early because the balance of the game can be broken pretty early. So I really want to see green slam into red, but I also really want Africa. So I think I'm going to roll a six on three. I think you have to roll some, some crazy stuff. Oh, it's a, it's a seven on three. Okay. So I have Africa now. I asked for the lions from green. I have not asked for the lions from red because um, you think green's going to go for Australia? What's up with this? Why is this all off center? You see how it's like covering it up today? On the right? Okay, good. So I'm just gonna let these two go to war and try to hold Africa, I think. And then maybe eventually like decimate red over here in in south america at some point and try to gain an advantage so green's fours are going to come slide slamming right back through into into australia that's my prediction and i'm going to build on middle east and north africa evenly And I think this is my take. So what I really want to do is I really want to fortify down to the four, but then that's signaling to them that I'm going to destroy you, right? So instead, I think I'm going to do this. I could have gone the other way too. It doesn't really matter. 
but that five may be able to get a take on like the two and move in and stuff. These two are just fighting for Australia. Wide borders on both sides of the stream. That's too bad. Hopefully it, it's not terrible in the um, in the video. I don't know how to fix it. So I become the strong, the strongest. Can I kill red? Boom, 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 boom. I can kill red for cards already. And then immediately attack green, like being a 1v1 with green, is it worth it? I get 17 for my trade trade in plus my troops something like that I will have 54 I take out 25 and I'll be fighting I think I can do it you have 13 14 15 here it's it's actually quite risky Let's see where we are. I think I can, I think it's risky, but I think I can do it. So 15, so I need like 20 he might do it. And then let's give it a try. Where's a red? Oh no, way up there. I didn't see that one at all, no. I'm giving them the kill. Is there another place I can get that from? No, I didn't see it. No, I'm giving green cards. Oh, I didn't see that at all. I would have just gone straight forward and had the kill with that seven. Now I'm in a 1v1 in a deficit instead of a lead. Oh, I can't believe it. And you know why? Because it was covered up on the right. And he's not even killing red. And red's offline. Okay, I'm, in, I'm fine then. I'm fine. I just 1v1 with green. He needs to break my Africa. Oh, that was crazy. It was so crazy that that happened. I hope this bot doesn't get cards. All I do is kill the bot and break green, and then I have the win. Attack. The bot doesn't have cards. I can't believe it. So I need like eight here. And then we'll put three there. Man, he should have killed that bot. I still win. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll try that and this. Oh, I didn't mean to do that.
I could have attacked a little more. I'm so lucky that bot didn't trade. But I would have been in a crazy 1v1. I can't believe I forgot Japan. I couldn't see it. Like, even after it didn't give it to me, I was like, where is it? Is this person still here? I gotta say, I'm just lucky today. So, this person's gonna take a while. Better lucky than good. Yeah, l last time I played a three player fix, there's something I'm, uh, I don't know if it's like, I'm too rushed or something I'm missing on, on three player fixed because um, I won, or I, I got second last time because I went too crazy. One, two, three, four, five, six. Should take a year up. There we go. So I need a seven, and then the rest can go um, in North Africa. I think that's a hundred percent. We'll make it an eight, and then I'll put the rest on this three in Urkush and come down and through. I still, have, I still have 15 minutes. He's not even breaking me. He needs to be breaking me. Well, I think if I would have hit Japan, I would have still won the game at that point. But I missed Japan, so I needed a bunch of luck. I needed the, the, the bot not to have cards in order to make it easy. Otherwise, I was in a 1v1 with a slight troop lead, but um, my opponent would have had cards. So it would have been it would have been hard from there. Um, but yeah, subscribe and follow uh, Risky Phil one word on Twitch and two words on YouTube. Let me think. Let me know your thoughts about three player fixed. Um, what where the strategies are different than like four or six player and where they're similar. Thank you.